crossed assembly today we are going to see how to make this crossed assembly for that first open cut here now go on start then mechanical design and here assembly design because we are going to make assembly now now on this screen you have to import something so for that first click on existing component and then click on product after that you have to first drink body inside it so open it in katia now first use this manipulation command and select anything from here and just move it from one place to another place so when you will bring your next component inside the katia it will not interlinked with each other now here is the fixed component so fix this component now it's not able to move you can see here now let's bring our next component so click on existing component and uh, then go on again product from that we are going to take first brasses inside so open it now use this contact uh, nay no, sorry coincide surf coincidence surface now we have to select this to access and then update it from here now use this offset command or you can just use this contact surface contact constraint this surface should be coincide with this surface and update it from here now we have to bring our next component inside the katia so go on existing component and now we are uh, taking our key plate inside the katia so it is key plate now again go on this uh, coincide constraint so select first axis of this with axis of this and second axis of this with second axis of this and then update it from here now use this offset command we want this surface uh, should be coincide with this surface so select both of them and just write distance as 0 and enter it after that you should update it from here now next component we have to bring so go on again existing component then our next component is piston rod and then open it in katia now we have to again use this coincide constraint this axis should be coincide with this axis again select that coincide constraint then this axis of hole should be coincide with this axis of hole and then update it from here but one thing is remaining that we have to use this contact surf uh, contact constraint contact between this surface and this surface should be there so update it from here now one thing is remaining so go on input uh, existing component then click on product and bolt is remaining so open it now you have to first take this uh, coincide uh, coincide constraint it should be coincide with the hole and this axis so update it from here now similarly we have to use this contact constraint contact between this to this side of the bolt should be there so update it from here now you have to select bolt from this tree diagram and go on this uh, symmetry command after that select the central axis and click on finish this is how you have uh, you you will get the second uh, similar bolt after that we have to import nut so go on existing component again click on product now uh, one thing is remaining that is nut so open it in katia first now use this uh, not that sorry mm, this is uh, con uh, coincide constraint select central axis of bolt and central axis of this nut and then update it from here now it should be in this direction so we have i mean in opposite direction so we have to go on this manipulation command and it should be uh, rotate this side from one side to another side i mean in opposite direction and now use this contact constraint uh, not that constraint uh, you can use that also but i'm using this offset constraint offset between that surface of key plate with this surface of nut should be zero and then and click on and okay after that update it from here this is how it is fitted into bolt so similarly go here uh, click on nut from the product 
then go on symmetry command and select the central axis uh, central uh, plane and then click on finish this is how we have completed our uh, cross set assembly thank you so much guys for watching it